The Army's Bradley Fighting Vehicle represents a key flashpoint when it comes to Army modernization and what weapons developers think about. On the one hand, what's the maximum extent to which you can upgrade an existing platform for the near term, while at the same time shift toward a developmental effort to build a new platform? This is exactly the case with the Bradley. In one sense, they have the existing A4 and the emerging A5 Bradleys, which are faster, which have better engines, better transmission, more advanced sensors, different kinds of applications independent commander's thermal sights, things that better enable the vehicle to fight in a more modern threat environment. At the same time, the Bradley itself will be a model against which next generation Bradleys, or something the Army calls next generation combat vehicle. They will look specifically at how this platform will exceed what's capable for a Bradley. Army developers talk often about size, weight, and power. When you have onboard electrical systems, sensors, C4ISR, cyber applications, and of course electromagnetic warfare, things like air defense and advanced integrated sensor systems, radar and fire control, you need a lot more mobile onboard power. So there's only so much you can upgrade an existing vehicle before you essentially hit a wall. And that's where they're looking at platforms like the Bradley to be a benchmark against which to assess what can be done with the next iteration of ground combat technology. They've set up things like cross-functional teams to look at a potential fleet of vehicles which will one day replace the Bradley fighting vehicle and go to combat in the 2030s or beyond. The idea is to make something lightweight, fast, and incredibly deployable. One of the problems with the 70-ton Abrams tank, despite its battlefield success and great advantage, is it's difficult to move. It can't go over certain bridges, and of course it's tough to deploy. So if you have something that can maneuver quickly and be called upon in short instances when threats require, yet still have a commensurate level of protection. This is being explored with things like ceramic composites, that you have lighter weight armor that's so one of the things Army officials tell Warrior Maven is it has to be a considerable jump forward from what the upgraded Bradley is able to offer or why do it. So this is a drawing board, a conceptual framework. One senior Army leader told Warrior Maven they're doing a lot of early prototyping to test the art of the possible. Instead of years of developmental or conceptual work, they want to know what might work, what might integrate on a nearer time scale so as to maximize the leverage, the best available technologies, whether it's integrated sensors, weapons applications or different armor composites. They want to prototype them early to get a feel for where the engineering levels need to go. Chris Osborne, Warrior Maven.